It's freezing down here. Shit. I'm so stressed out. God damn. Y'all, please. I mean, I know because, you know what? It was a lot of people when I was on here and I was just like, you know, I hate having a new camera. It's stressful. Mm -hmm. You know, I can't get it sent above. I know so many people and they was just like, I like the new camera. I you like did? the way it looks. I mean, it does look. I like it the way it looks. I guess it looks more HD. I'm not sure, but literally on the screen it looks like everything looks right then when i upload it you can see the fucking wall the sign is crooked you know what i'm just here to give y'all a video so let me just go ahead and give y'all a video i'm not right. i'm not going to stress myself out. something where you kind of want them to be wait a minute because that was a, a, a shonda interview that kim just sent me but i'm not going to let um that girl shonda rhymes get me in my feelings What's going on YouTube? It's me, Tiffany, and I'm here with my co-host, Tanea. Hey, guys. And we're <laughs> back with an all-new video. Today is Thursday, September the 21st. Yeah. And we're back with an all-new video. Yeah. You know what? I'm not even going to tell y'all about our days and stuff because it was really people in these comments trying to come for us on Monday. Oh my god, 15 whole minutes and y'all talking about y'all weekend? Yes! Oh my god, why we gotta know about Tiffany and her, um, you know, shitty weekend? Cause oh y'all gotta god. know, like, like why? I gotta know, y'all gotta know, the fuck? Why was y'all being so mean to me? So that's all right, from now on, y'all won't know our weekend and what happened on our weekdays, even though shit ain't happened. But anyway, let's get straight into the video. The first thing that I want to talk about is the hurricanes and the earthquakes. Mm. Y'all still don't believe in global warming? Listen, all I can say is y'all really better get ready. Like, I don't know what's going to happen, but I just feel like God is on his way back. Mm. It is scary. Um, I know that Mexico had a really bad earthquake, and not that they had a bad one, but California had an earthquake mm -hmm. the other day too, but Puerto Rico has been hit with Hurricane Maria, yeah. which turned into a Category 5 out of nowhere. Mm -hmm. Puerto Rico, the whole entire Puerto Rico is without power. Lord. Not only is the entire, like, can y'all understand, like, the entire Puerto Rico without power? Like, you know how it's, like, different parts of places? Yeah. The entire Puerto Rico without power. But not only are they out of power, they're going to be out of power for months. That's crazy. That's crazy. Like, I'm hoping that, you know, by it just being so much damage and you know, just so much water and everything. Like, they just think that, you know, it's no way possible we can get this power back on anytime soon. Well, that's what they said about, like, the other islands that were hit in the first hurricane, like yeah. Barbados and all those other ones. They never had power for, like, four to six months. But I'm just hoping that it won't be months and months and months. Like, I'm just hoping that something can happen. Because that's just scary and I just feel so bad for them. And when stuff like this happens, I told you that I really can't. I can't watch too much more of the news. Mm -hmm. I can't keep hearing about this because it's it's. I, I feel like I don't deserve these lights on me right now. Like, it's kids there. People have to be hooked up to mach machines to breathe. Like, I think about if something like that happened and my niece Channing, she needs to breathe through her machines. Like, that's just so fucking scary. People are pregnant, having babies. Like, mm -hmm. <sighs> what about like? elderly people who don't have their same mind so they don't know what's going on they're just mm -hmm. scared like kids and it's just y'all just keep them in your prayers and just try to complain as less as possible if not at all because it's just so many people going through far worse things like it's just I don't want to complain about anything right I really don't as soon as I catch myself complaining I'll be like bitch get Shut it up. together because it could just be so much worse. And if you are in Puerto Rico, if you have family in Puerto Rico, just keep them in prayers and just do all that you can to help. I know, you know, um, J-Lo, I believe, is uh, Puerto Rican. Evelyn Lozada is Puerto Rican. Emily B is Puerto Rican. It's somebody else. Another big I Lala think, is Puerto Rican. I think Emily B is Puerto Rican and Dominican. Yeah. Yeah. But I know that, you know, with big celebrities, that have money, I know that they'll donate all they can. You know, people around the world 
will probably try to donate, but people that are actually from there mm -hmm. will definitely make it their business to help. So I just hope that, you know, whatever they can do helps. It's just honestly too much. It's, um, is Cardi B from Puerto Rico? No, they recently, no, they tried to tell me the other day she's from Trinidad. I don't think she's from there. Like, you don't have to be from there. She is Trinidadian. She is Trinidadian. Yeah, like, I don't think J-Lo is from Puerto Rico. Right. Or Evelyn. They from New York. They're, they're, they just are Puerto, Puerto Rican. Rican. Yeah. Right. Like me, I'm African American, but I'm not from Africa. But you are from America. That's why you're African American. But I'm not from Africa. But you're African American. But I'm not from Africa. You have African descent. But I'm not from Africa. It's not saying you I'm are not from African. Africa. But do you have African descent? No. Yes. Um. Keep them in your prayers. Um, keep, the keep the world. Prayers. In, keep the world in your prayers. Um. What should we talk about first? Um, okay, let's start with Beyonce and Jay-Z. First of all, Jay-Z, um, you know, he's killed the rumors. As far as I'm hearing, he has turned down uh, the Super Bowl halftime, which, Damn. I mean, I understand it because the NFL is definitely on some bullshit right now. Like, I don't right. know if it's because of that, but more than likely, it's because of that. I mean, Colin Kaepernick is just one of the many reasons why, but... Why would he do something like that with so much going on right now, like with them playing with, you know, black people, not being able to nail and stand for your rights? You don't have to nail if you don't fucking want to. That shit is crazy. But I'm not going to lie. I'm excited about Jay-Z, so I just don't know who they're going to get now. Mm -hmm. I honestly feel like, you know, y'all would uh, Missy out for Katy Perry. Missy can do her own Super right. Bowl halftime. Honestly. Let's be clear. I'm just saying, like, it... At this point, like, I honestly be thinking, like, when they do pick the person, I'll be like, oh, yeah, them. Because I really be forgetting about people. Okay. I do. Like, who would do the Super Bowl? Name somebody right now. Beyonce. Beyonce's not doing it. Oh, um. Beyonce's done the Super Bowl three times. Mm -hmm. See, it's kind of hard to think about it. I right. mean, not unless they just pick some white person. That we really think about, they got the hits. You know how they just pick like you know red hot chili peppers, oh, yeah. some shit like that. Like I mean, not some shit like that, but somebody so, that you yeah. wasn't even thinking, thinking about. Yeah, like some old school shit. Right. Yeah. But um, in other news, Beyonce and Jay Z now. <sighs> Cause y'all remember how I was acting for the the telethon? Like I instantly was like, oh my god, Beyonce. No, they're literally saying that Beyonce and Jay Z will be headlining a benefit concert in New York on October the 17th. Wow. So, I'm just saying, like, I'm not even going to get excited. I do I know. See, right. Like, I, I do know. see Beyonce at the stage, but just in case, this yeah. is a game. See, like, stop, I, see, I stopped getting my hopes up years ago. Yeah, it's just and not good. And you need to follow It's not good, but I already know. I'm, I'm not even impressed. I mean, I'm excited because, no, I'm excited because I know that this concert, they will probably donate, if not most, all of the, um, proceeds. The proceeds to all of the natural disasters that are going around. But, I know that Beyonce is about to come out next year. Y'all y'all can't tell me shit. That is probably one of the reasons why Jay-Z didn't do it too. Because he's about to be on tour. Yeah, I then, don't think because he's on tour. But then I was thinking, then when he do his little break, and then when Beyonce does Coachella, then, he you know, on tour. it's just going to go boom. Y'all don't even know about these savings that I'm about to have. I'm just living on hers. Ready. Ready. And I already feel bad because I told Tanae, you know, I understand if people don't want to spend a lot of money on Beyonce tickets, but the fact that me and Tanae were all the way up front, fifth, fifth row, I just don't know if how far back that I can go. go. You know what I mean? Like, I mean, because we have sat for, further back yeah. since then, and it's just like, I feel like, you know what? I kind of enjoyed it because when you on the floor like that, you wrapped up in that B shit. Like, you really feel the aura of Beyonce. Yeah, you can't breathe. And so, like, but when you, like, because you remember how we was like, when we sat back, we was like, oh my God. Yeah. Look at the cues. Like, you look really at all got the things that it does. Right. Look at the dances. Like, it's so many things that we missed because we were literally this close to Beyonce. Like, we could see the hair on her legs. What I'm saying is, 
We need a really close one. And then the back. We need a back one. See, but I don't know if I'm going to have to leave my friends because I just feel like I'm at a point in my life where I should go to, well, we went to three concerts. I feel like I might need to go to four because I already told my cousin George that we want to come to Atlanta. We're, coming, we're going Atlanta. to Atlanta. Of course, if she comes here, we have to go there. And Not I feel like course. we need to pick another one. Yeah. Like... We just do. Yeah. I'm excited. I don't even know why I'm excited because it's not confirmed. What <laughs> question? Um When is Kaylee Fest again? Um, probably around March or April. Which week in April? I don't know. We need to find out. Why? Because you trying to go to Coachella? Oh! Bitch! I oh. tried it! Oh. You and Simone can go to Coachella. I'm not going to no fucking Yo. Coachella. I will watch that shit one title. No, Coachella, no. aka Made in America festivals. I don't do them. Grow up. We can be mad. Bitch, grow up! You don't want to do nothing for no more because you are about 30. Anyway. Anyway, bitch. <laughs> Escape going on tour. Who? Escape. Who? Mainly because it wasn't even about Escape. I really want to see Tamar. And like, I just feel like, I mean, it's going to be Tamar and Monica. You want to see Tamar live? I want to see Tay Tay. Oh. I do. I, I, do. I, I want to experience really wanted, it. Especially since she claims this is her last album, but I enjoyed her last album. So if Me you know, she up that, did you hear the single that she put out? No. I liked it. It's called Blind. Y'all know I love me a good Tay Tay song. I haven't heard a song since that one about her mother and her father. No, I didn't believe. Really, and I wasn't. That was too dramatic for me. Yeah, it was just too much. Yeah, I but handle it. When I heard about it, I was like, oh my God, I want to go. Like, I really don't want to have to sit through Candy singing because, bitch. Every man loves I don't care if the Candy fans are watching this. I myself, I'm not gonna be able to do it. Yo, can I just tell y'all one Candy, thing? Candy, 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 can't sing. Candy, if you're watching this, I really do like you. I have loved you for a long time. Oh, I think girl. you're beautiful. I like your family. I like Todd. I really want to come um to eat the food. What's the name of the place? Old Lady Gang. I oh, even wanted to go to a mother's love, but before it got here, it got canceled. I really like you, Candy, and I feel like you know, Escape is an amazing group. Y'all were the '80s and the '90s, or whenever y'all was out. But you can't sing no more. I don't know what it is. You can write your ass off. No. Hey. Scrub. No. But no. that singing, bitch. But the thing is, can I tell you something? She's always sounded like that. So don't sing anymore. My ears have matured. So now I know what singing is. I guess. And I'm just not going to be able to do it. But I was excited. Are y'all going to the tour? If y'all going, let me know. Because, see, the thing is, is that the real reason I'm really not going is because, number one, you're not coming to Baltimore. Which, Tamar, you got a fucking nerve. Mm -hmm. Now, I know you're not all in control of shit like that, but you, as much as you run your mouth, you should have been like, uh-uh, you're not going to Baltimore. I like that. Not my whole town. Bitch, the way you be repping Baltimore, even though you're not from here, you from Zaverna Park or whatever that is, bitch, you should have made sure. So they come into D.C., but they come in the Sunday of Thanksgiving weekend. At 7 o'clock at night. Bitch, you gotta go to work on Monday. Not the escape. Yeah. Mm -mm. Maybe for somebody else, but not escape. I'm not going to D.C. I mean, we literally drove for Kanye West on a work night and came back and didn't get back and go to sleep Yo, until like but one niggas time. was tired. Yeah, he was. Fuck but I'm not going like, to be that tired for no fucking escape. Yeah, that was Kanye West. Because I want to see Monica too. See, Monica oh, yeah. was saying that Monica got hit, so... Yeah, I wouldn't mind seeing oh, Monica sing down. So if y'all going, let me know. Take some pictures and videos for me, y'all, because I'm probably not going to go. Um, but speaking of them, the Hip Hop Honors were this past Monday. Um, I lied. You know, I guess I didn't know who the fuck was going to be there. I was telling y'all the Migos. You're talking about the fucking Migos shit. was going to be there. Yes. The Migos was not there. They was not there, y'all. This was literally like a 90s party. A 90s party. With a party. bunch of fucking children, children in the audience. That bought tickets to Why y'all didn't call us? Like, no, not even that. Like, literally to get in, you should have had to have been 28 and over. Yeah, it's just like the audience wasn't giving me what I need because the people on stage were giving me everything. But the audience didn't know the word. So it was just like they didn't know this music. But I must say, I enjoyed it. You know, I usually mean, don't like this type of shit. I no, love, see, I love some nigga shit, honestly. <laughs> I usually and don't this like this shit. It. I, see, I love some niggery shit. This was nice. 
Yeah, um, I miss Trick Daddy and Trina to Nancy. Well, let me tell you about Trick Daddy's little nasty ass. Okay, <laughs> Trick Daddy, I can't, I can't quite re think about what he reminds me of right now. Um, okay, you know what I do? You remember Cadillac Records? Mm -hmm. When who who did um, what's his face play? Little cute yo. Oh, Columbus Short? Yes. You remember when Columbus Short got his ass mm -hmm. and his face after that? That's exactly what Trick Daddy's face looks like. And you know, that's what the fuck he gets for talking about black women. That's the thing. God doesn't agree with that shit, okay? And so he makes you suffer. And that's why his face like that. And then he going, Lord, can't stop till I give enough. No! No! Stop pumping the air with your old ass. I heard Trina looked a bit. Trina! Oh my God. Trina... It's fatter than a project rope, y'all. <laughs> she is so fucking thick everywhere, just little rolls all over the place. I love her. Um, I thought Escape is good. Was good except Candy. Oh. Candy ruined it. I like the other one, the one that can really sing, and I feel like Tiny even doing a good job too. Because Tiny can sing, like, and the thing is, I okay. I don't know if it's Candy's key. That she's singing in, and it's like kind of making her like winded. Like, I don't know what this is, but it's just very nasally and very flat. Like, uh. um, you know what she sounds like singing? Her mother talking. Um, who else was there? Oh um, my god. I can just skip straight. Well, Missy Elliott was good from what yeah, I quote the end of Missy. It. I, I that was the nice. Yeah, mm -hmm. I quote it. But Missy's always good. Always good. Um, I love the little Hype Williams tribute because he definitely deserved that. Yo, bitch. I was, I knew, I knew every video, bitch. every video that they played. I was like, oh my god, that's, that's my like favorite. bomb. It was so good. I want to skip to Mariah Curry. Now, let me first say this because y'all know. Someone texted me the other day, like, I just watched Mariah Curry. See, no, because the thing is, is that Mariah really has nothing left to prove. Not a motherfucker. Mariah mother is a legend. A living fucking Mariah legend. is the fucking shit. She is that the bitch. The truth. She is that bitch. Mariah is a fucking key key. At this point, bitch. Mariah is a fucking comedian, okay? Like, this is literally how she move around the stage. With somebody holding her arm. At least two more. Like, Mariah doesn't move. Like, like it's not me. You did it. Like, bitch, don't try to play with me and act like you did that fucking stuff. I'm saying, they fucking try. Oh, you know, with somebody else coming but down. But not even. No, let me tell you. When she going to step on the fucking stage and take the hardest uh -huh. off. Bitch, who do you think you playing with? Right, literally, like. about it is like Tanea always says which is real shit ever since Mariah did that little whistle I knew that she had no more fucks to give yo that whistle She's a yeah, she constantly is Mariah drinking. drinks wine all day. I know she go through three bottles. Can we day. also talk about one more thing? Not her outfit. I, I'm not even here for the. I, okay. I'm not head to toe. Head to toe. Hair, <laughs> face, everything. <laughs> Earrings. First of all, bitch, don't you ever come out in no fucking school, but a scuba outfit unzipping. So them titties can get out. Like, come on. Mariah, when are you going to put your titties away, Aretha Franklin? Like, cut it out. Okay, ma'am? She can do it. She don't. Mariah didn't look comfortable in her outfit, did she? She looked comfortable. She didn't look comfortable the entire time. It looked like she couldn't, like, she, she could barely breathe. breathe. She can't breathe. So Imagine, okay, the scuba outfit, whatever was 
under that. And then you know she got some type of controls on too. Bitch. It's just crazy as fuck. First of all, you need to stop wearing eight, eight inch heels. You cannot move. And you see her boyfriend was there in Tokyo. Yo, y'all should have got fucking, y'all should have had Busta Rhymes on that bitch. They should They could have did a remake to um, Baby If You Give It To Me. I enjoy seeing Mace too. Mm -hmm. Oh, Mace is flying in the MS. I saw it was there. He was turned Looking up. Looking cute. I saw it was real turned up. Um, Monica was there. Lil' Kim was there. She looked good. Lil' um, Kim. I was about to say, Damn. Kelly was there looking like a chocolate Barbie doll. But they didn't do something to Kim's face. Kim looked nice. She's constantly getting surgeries. But on top of that, they're not probably not. You know what? They probably started using Fenty on her true, face. True. But, I mean, Kim almost looks like a ghost. Her How face is... Let me go again. Let's Don't hate on Kim. <laughs> ah, bitch! <laughs> go on! <laughs> I could because her arms look like they can be... <laughs> Um, 50, give me 50. Jeez. Fab did a great job. Yeah, Fab um, did a great pro, job. Um, Prodigy. Um, I can't remember who else was there, but I feel like the um, which is Ty Dolla Sardis did a good job. Because I always forget yeah. that he's a singer. He did a really, really good job. Mm -hmm. Um, Overall, I'll give it a good grade. I, I give it a good nine, honestly. And the good thing about it was, see, that's my favorite thing about it. That's all people complain. Like, it's only an hour. Short and sweet. That's don't, all don't, don't grab that shit out. The Say God, that they, I like that they gave Martin that, um. I love it. The award and they gave, um, Master P an award. Yeah, I missed it. So the Shaka came out that day. I missed it. It was nice. And um, I thought Regina did a great job. Yeah, she did a good job posting that show. It was a nice time. And she looks nice. And I like that everybody was in their 90s. Mm -hmm. you know? It was nice. Um, take on the Taylor. Shout out to you for dancing with a balloon. We, we done? Yeah. Okay. Um, <laughs> um, Real Housewives of Atlanta trailer came out for season 10. Bitch, I just... See, I don't, first of all, everybody was like, what day do it come out? What day do it come out? So as I found out the day it come out, I was like, oh, shit, I'm going to have to record it because I can just see now. But, you know, we might be in the house, but I really don't even know what's our plans for the actual night of Tanae's birthday. But Real Housewives of Atlanta comes back November the 5th, Sunday, on Tanae's birthday. And I know that we record on Monday, and I know that I'm going to have to force her to watch it, but I just don't know if I can force her to watch it on her birthday because it's like torture to her. And I can't even argue with you because it's your birthday. Right. So, But I can get her to watch it Monday. So that's the good thing. But uh, first of all, Kim Zosiak gets on my fucking nerves. She looks like Her crazy. lips are bothering me so bad. It looks disgusting. I don't want to. I don't have time for the Kenya and Kim show because both of them are fucking liars and both of them are fucking stupid. Kim, you did pimp your fucking daughter out for John Legend tickets, bitch. Kenya, you are a fucking liar. We don't know if you really married or not. I don't have time for that shit. Nene just seemed like she's going to be annoying the whole season, but I don't give a fuck because I love Nene. We just going to have to deal with her lace fronts and her flipping out on everybody. And this new nose. Portia seems like she's going to be a phony bitch this season. I really don't know what's right. going to happen, even though I still be liking Portia, but I just don't know. Candy just seemed like she's going to be on some fuck the world shit. I done cut Phaedra off. I cut... Uh, Portia off and bitch you can get cut off too. Um, Cynthia and Peter getting back together. Come on. But he, but I thought she found somebody else. Yeah, but it was. It is a storyline. Honestly, it's honestly. It's Let just me tell you, me. Greg I, gonna pass out. I am disgusted. Okay. <laughs> From this trailer, it's nothing but a bunch of middle aged fucking bitches having fucking midlife crisis. Like, they acted so... I said Tiffany. <laughs> like, 40, 41, 42, 43, 45. The youngest person is Portia, Portia. And I think she may be like 35 or 38. Either way, y'all are too old to be acting like this. Like, too fucking old. I think of me and my age. If I had that much drama going on, that what they got on, going on, I would probably really, like, 
have to check into some of it. Like, it's just ridiculous. At this type of age, like, you just, it's just like, don't force it, bitch. Like, it's just, it's, I just, I can't, I can't, I can't. I'm excited about it because I don't have anything to watch on Sundays anymore. Mm -hmm. And I missed it. And Sheree has a new man and he's in jail. And he's, he's a con artist, honey. Bitch. So. I mean, I'm gonna watch it, but I'm not watching it on my birthday. No, fuck you. I'm not watching it. Um, Toya Wright is pregnant. By the way, they didn't say who she was. Bitch! Bitch, she is not pregnant by no fucking Lil Wayne. He probably shooting blanks. Like, Sir, you he is it. all fucked up. Uh-uh. He, she ain't fucking pregnant by no Lil Wayne. I don't know who the fuck she pregnant by, but the bitch is pregnant. See, because it came out that Tiny was pregnant too, which is still like a floating rumor. I really can't confirm that yet. Is that major? Hers. Hers. <laughs> hers, hers. <Sorry. laughs> but yeah, Harris is like two, about to be two. Come on, come on. But um, yeah, I don't, I don't know about... Tiny, that's not fully confirmed yet, but supposedly they having that eighth child. I don't know. Well, y'all bitches gonna stop putting the knot in all the time on your uterus. But, I just can't. Like, no. I don't know who Toy fucking with, but you know, I'm a little excited about you know, sometime last year I unfollowed her on everything. It just was at some well, point I had to ask baby, myself why was I still following baby. her. Oh. You hear me? Oh, I've, I've been stopped. I just didn't know why I was following Me too. Her. I constantly go through your timeline and ask you why you still follow so me. So I let her go. But so I really don't know what's been going on in her life. But like. After I don't have anything nice to say about people. Like I, every time I scroll, I have nothing nice to say. I gotta let you go. Because I don't need that type of negativity in my life. Congratulations, Toya and Raisin Name. I'm sure you're excited. Yes. Oh my goodness. I forgot. Yes. Um. Toys R Us. Toys R Us is shutting down. I can't believe it. You know what? I'm disgusted. Like, I just feel so bad for these fucking kids. They like, got really shit. didn't live a good life. Like, it's a shame that everything is online now. Like, Amazon and shit. Before, you literally had to go to, to the, the store. store. And let me tell you, before Walmart was full in effect, bitch, you had Toys R Us. It's sad. It's I remember one year my mother and my father took... My little sister on a shopping spree to Toys R Us for my birthday. Like, kids don't do that anymore. Toy, yo, that Toys R Us magazine. That's what I'm no, sad about. That was the highlight of your child life. That Toys R Us magazine coming out for Christmas. Like, it was everything you needed. Like, Toys R Us was amazing. Like, it was magical. I'm sad well, we were little. It is crazy because you're an adult now and when you're going in, it don't look like it. But, like, when I was little, Toys R Us was just so big. I still like and it though. Toys were so big. And you know what? I've also said that y'all bitches ain't got SAO sports either because yeah. mm, mm, y'all ain't got shit. What was the other toy story out East Point? KB. KB Toys. Like y'all don't have anything. Because y'all don't even oh play my toys. God. You know, I love the doll baby. I am what you call it part because I used to have twin dolls, Laura and Lauren. Laura was named after Laura from Family Matters because y'all know I love Family Matters. But I had y'all. My aunt, I can honestly say my aunt. Can you go away? My Get aunt the hell out of here. Mother! Can you not? Look at her. Look at her. Look, she's inside of my Can you not? Yo, she bite me? My aunt Terry kept my dolls laced. They had a bump bed because they were twins. They had like everything matching. Like they had a pink robe, one had a purple robe. I had hella clothes for them. She was always taking me to the store to get them new clothes. Like I love going to Toys R Us or KB Toys yeah. and getting them lace. Like, or you know me, I'm a gamer. I used to love going to get me new games. Like I used to go there because I had um, so nice. a baby boy. Mm. You had to go there to get the clothes mm. and you had to go there and get the food. Like y'all ain't got shit. Bits. I used to love changing my baby doll pamper. Me too. So Can I tell y'all what they did to my baby doll? One year I gave her a bath. I mean, one well, not one year. One day I gave her a bath and it filled up with water and it wouldn't stop. So I left her in the sink so she could dry out. And then it. I had a water baby. Did you have a water baby? Mm -mm. Oh my God. One year me, Mia, and Brittany got a water baby. Mm -mm. They got Brittany a little tiny white water baby. Oh no, I didn't have any white dolls. I did have a white baby. My baby born was white because Nanny said they ran out. Yeah. Me and me had black ones. I don't know why they got pretty white ones. They probably ran out. Yeah, but sh I think that they didn't have any tiny, tiny ones, and I guess because I think that was the year that was year, the year we got in trouble for opening all Britney shit. So Britney probably was like two or three. Y'all opened that stuff? Mm -hmm. Wow. 
we just was like, she's little. Like, we'll open her stuff for her. And then when they woke up, we all got in trouble. Yeah. Because now that I think about it, like, I was probably 10. So I'm thinking, like, if Cardi did some shit like that, I would have whooped her ass. Like, I would have been super pissed off. Like, why would you do that? Why would you steal that from me? Yeah. But yeah, y'all. Get the Toys R Us while you can. Take your kids. Mm, mm. What, so what is it finally closing down? I don't know. I think we're going to make it through this Christmas season. Oh, great. Yeah, so I think I'm going to go. Oh, definitely. Yeah. Um, I forgot to talk about this Monday, so everybody's in the comments and messaging me like, you forgot to talk about Lorenz Tate. Lorenz Tate has been bumped up to a series regular for season five of Power. Bumped up to die. Um... <laughs> Disrespectful to ghosts, like ghosts don't take a lot of disrespect. Now, nah. the only person that's disrespectful to ghosts and that is still living is fucking stern. And Tommy, that's it. Well, Tommy don't count because that's his brother, so he can treat him anytime. I'm talking yeah. about only person who can talk to him like shit that's not family. Mm -hmm. Nobody's alive but stern. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but um, I'm excited for Lorenz Tate. I just feel like it's just another thing to annoy me. Like, it's just so many things in season five that's going to piss me off. Mm -hmm. Mar the Maria story. Yeah. Lorenz Tate is a, is a regular. Dre is still alive. What the fuck is about to happen with this Angie and Tasha? What the fuck is Tari going to do now that he knows about Tasha? Is Tariq going to change or is he about to be even worse now? Like, it's just so They many really need to send his ass off the umbrage. Where was he supposed to be going? Choke? Oh, yeah. Sorry. I've been, re I've been like, reading Harry Potter. Bitch. Sorry. Yeah, but it's just so many different things to annoy me. So as soon as I found out, I was just like, <sighs> let me breathe. Let me breathe. But congrats to Lorenz Tate. And I'm excited even more because they've been showing more and more pictures. I told y'all I need to unfollow these people. But they just get you so excited. Now, you know they usually do like a little three-minute video just to talk about things that's about to be happening in season five. So I know that they're probably about to get that. Now I think once that comes out, I'm going to go ahead and let it go. What? Power. Oh. Because I've done my rewatch. I finished yeah. yesterday. Um, I started rewatching This Is Us to get ready because it comes on Tuesday. I told myself who was going to rewatch. I didn't know the shit was coming on Tuesday. Yeah, I'm excited. Like, I forgot so much shit. I forgot about William being gay. Oh, I didn't. Bitch, I forgot all about that. I forgot that we still don't know how Rebecca I... and Miguel got back together. We, we got together. We got together. Like, it's just so I much. I want to see the father dying. Honestly. I'm sad about it. I was rewatching today and I was just like, Jack is the man of my dreams. What are you watching on? Like, if you can't love me the way Jack loved Rebecca, I don't want it. Um, Hulu. Well, I can't watch it. Yeah. And it's, I was telling Candace because Candace, Candace was like, I wanted to rewatch it too, but now I feel like it's too many episodes. It's 18. I'm on like 13. Yeah. It's barely been 24 hours. We just gotta get her done. This is us is bomb. Like I cannot yeah, wait for that shit to come on. I hope that they don't piss me off. Like let's get right to it. But um Can you stop? Speaking of power, the last thing. Come on, go ahead. Cause you 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 interrupted me now. Because this bitch is interrupting me. For the person who comes and comments, y'all should get a spray bottle. Don't even say it, because I know you're about to comment it. But, um, dumbass. Don't go behind the fuck. It's just so dangerous down here. Like, I might have to start putting up my lamps when I go upstairs because the cat is dangerous as fuck. He is. But, um, anyway, last topic, I think, yeah, last topic was, um, about Courtney Kemp because, you know, not too long ago, there was somebody that came out and said that basically Courtney Kemp has stole their storyline. Right. That... They had thought of this. I mean, it wasn't going to be called Power, but she literally stole their storyline, even down to some of the characters. And if you have, you know, read up on Courtney Kemp or seen any of her in interviews, you know that some of this was like, like a tribute to her father. Mm -hmm. And it was like, she literally built this show from the ground up with 50, you know, talking to him about his lifestyle. That's what she was talking about at Paley Fest. She talked about different things that he's been through. You know, she said, I think she's, how long did she say she said on the phone with him the first day they talked? Hours. Hours. Like three hours. And she was just like, it just, 
it hurt her feelings so bad, you know, like during the investigation and stuff, because it's like, why would I steal anything? Like they're calling her a thief and everything, but it's been settled and everything that she didn't steal shit. She is the originator of this shit. This is all her shit. She ain't steal shit. Right. So fuck y'all. Fuck whoever did that shit. Because y'all really hurt Courtney feelings and I'm not going to have it. Oh, okay. I, I told her recently, Courtney, I know how to get away with murder. So whatever you need done. Don't look into me. Only look into her. Let me know. Because I watch how to get away with murder. Viola Davis. Blame her. She done taught me some shit. So just let me know. But yeah, don't be lying on people. Y'all better... I was about to come for y'all other show. That's who y'all need to check into. Yikes. Because he's a fucking thief. But um, anyway, we're going to go because um, Tanea ordered some dinner. I didn't order none, but I'm about to go eat her food because now I'm hungry. And we're best clearly friends. We're best friends Oh, again. bitch. Now we're friends cause because I Because she hurt my feelings because I be seeing this bitch. See, I'm going to tell you what got me. Now, I was thinking, because Tanea does have the type of job where she can get busy and she might not get to my text. Now, I know she sees them, but it's like, okay, she couldn't reply to it yet. And it's not even what it was, because sometimes she'll be like, I saw it, but I didn't know I needed to reply. But that's how you start a conversation. Right. And it's just like, when I don't text her or we don't talk about day, she's just like, well, why you ain't message me? But when I do message her, the bitch don't fucking reply. But then, like, two seconds later, I saw this bitch on Facebook. So I'm just like, what the fuck, bitch? Like, you leaving me on red? Like, her brief receipt's not even on that bitch right. is leaving me on red. So you need to I don't down. like that shit. So the thing what happened was is I wasn't leaving you on red. Like, I literally picked it up and answer, but I forgot to press send. Don't be doing me like that, though. I'm not these regular it. bitches. Yo, well, see, the thing about it is I had new hire shit, so I really didn't have my phone on me. I literally opened but it. But how do you remember to go on social media, but you don't remember to reply to me? I didn't say I didn't remember to reply. I didn't press send. So when you didn't see me reply after a while, why didn't you go back? I figured you got busy, Tiffany. That bitch, that's why we not best friends. We, well, we all best friends. No, right fuck you. You're right that's that. why I got we not I best friends because that bitch be treating me like I'm average. Like, she only want to be my best friend when she want to be my best oh, friend. Girl. Bitch, be that's my best friend 24-7, 25-8. Like, be my friend. That's you. But I hope you guys have a great weekend Um, on, what is it? This weekend, we will be doing a no measurements. On Monday, we'll be back for a new video. You guys, I really feel like... Because I don't know what's going to happen next week. I have a lot of birthdays. My little sister's birthday is next mm -hmm. week. And my and birthday is next week. Now, y'all remember how y'all got y'all to do for today's birthday that year? Where y'all send in, you know, your happy birthdays. If you want to send, like, a little message, you can DM it to me. You can email it to me. You can leave it under the video. But I think on Thursday, which is at her actual birthday, that I may read some of them. Because she just... For her birthday, she just needs to feel extra special. So yeah. I'm just trying to think of different ways I can make that happen. So if you would like to leave a special message for Mama Nay, her birthday is Thursday. I will read them. If you can get them to me by Thursday at 5 o'clock, that would be great. Um, I'm really hoping that this video looks right because, as I told you guys, I cannot send it a shit. Um, I think Uncle L may stop past this weekend. So we may work on it. As you can see, I've lifted the table back up, hoping that that helps. We don't know. The light bulb has not come yet. It's supposed to come tomorrow. So on Monday, we'll be back and booming with light. Um, but again, I hope you guys have a great weekend. Um, it's supposed to be the first day of fall, but it's like going to be in the 90s all week. I'm not sure what's going on here in Baltimore, but y'all keep us in prayer. Um, close this out. You can't, you didn't say 70 things. Because I don't want to forget anything. This is my last time I'm going to talk to them until Monday. God. That's why we're not friends now. Well, we're friends right, right. now. No, we're, we're not, not big friends. We only friends because you want my food. Fuck you. you this is your first time tonight. watching. Let me hurry up. Hurry up. She's Wrap so, it up then. She's so fucking busy. Wrap it up then. If this is your first time watching, please make sure you subscribe. We will be here every Monday and Thursday with an all new video. For the people who have been watching, make sure you share this video. Tell a friend to tell a friend. Tell your mother, your cousin, your sister, your brother. Tell somebody about the show. And we'll be back on Monday with an all new video. Everybody be blessed. I love you all and I will miss you. And if you didn't Y'all need to stop liking Tanea. And if you didn't know, now you know there's no show like the show. Uh, peace out. You guys have a great weekend. I love you. End all. it. End it. 
I love you all. Good good night. Cause Tiffany's crazy. End it. It's over.